Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Max, your host for this poker vlog. It's gonna be number 15 for this week. I've played two sessions, so I'm gonna compile all these sessions into one video and see which best hands I played, which hands I think that I didn't play well. So it's a combination of like good plays, bad plays, where I could improve, and that's the important part is that where you can analyze your hands afterwards where I think that I having struggle in certain spot and that I can improve a lot if I like reanalyze them and see what I can improve. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the vlog. So on behalf of that I'm playing 1-2 uh, in Quebec and let's roll. First end of the night was pocket nine in the Adagon plus one position. So I've opened a bet of $10. Middle position and bottom calls. Small blinds have other plans and put raise of $45. Since I have position on him, I decided to make the call. So, and the other decided to fold. So heads up to see a flop, which was king eight for rainbow. Now small blind decided to put a C bet of $30. That could represent a lot of things. And since I have the second pair, I have no reason to go away right now for like a little C bet of $30. It could represent like ace queen, pocket jack, pocket queens. He have a lot of he have a lot in his hand. So I just decided to make the call and we are heads up to see a turn, which was another king here. And now the Small blind decided to slow down and check. Can he really check a king here? Or he might check a lot of things. He can might check like ace queen, ace jacks, ace 10, king queen. He could he could have a lot of checks, but also he could have a lot of nothing. And on the river, that could destroy me if he catch his cards. So with my pocket nine, I decided to put a bet of $75 to see where he's at, and he decided to fold. Next hand was nine, eight of suit in the cutoff position. There was one limper, so I decided to put a bet of $10. The bottom called, and then big blind have other plans. It put a raise of $40. The first limper decided to call, so here a little bit of odds, and so I decided to make the call since I've open and then just 30 more and then there's another one who calls so i have pretty much the odds i put a call and the bottom call so we're four ways to see a flop which was king nine six two diamonds now the big blind decided to check hijack decided to check as well so here with my nine eight i decided to put a bet here even though it's like second pair someone could have a king but i, I wanted to know some information so put a $35 bet and only the big blind calls. Heads up to see a turn, which was a four of heart here. Now he still checks. So what could I represent? Am I representing diamonds? Am I representing a king here since I have opened first of all? And what is he trying to represent? Maybe he had jacks, 10 queens, maybe he have a king, but I still want to have some information. So I've put a bet of $90 and he makes the call. Heads up to see a river, which was a two of clubs. And now he decided to check. Here, I don't think my nine is half short on value because he called me both ways. What could he represent? Could he represent diamonds? Maybe he missed. I don't think he would have slow his king on the flop since we're all four, three behind him. So I don't think he has a king. So I'm putting him more on either a miss flush or he either have a queen, jack, tens. And with all this in mind, I have no confidence that my nine is having value on the showdown, so I decided to rip it off and put all in, and he folds. My next hand was pocket aces in the undergun plus one position. So I've put a standard open bet of $10, and then the middle position put a raise of $21. That's a min raise. Everyone folds, not decision on me. I'm out of position, so I want to do a 5x against him, so $100, and he calls. So heads up to see a flop, which was 4 of hearts, 6 of club, and a 5 of heart. Now, this flop doesn't really hit my range, 
So with this, then this, I tried it to check and he bets $71. Technically, I don't know what that kind of bet is, but I cannot fold to just a mirror bet. So I decided to call heads up to see a turn, which was a three of diamond. I decided to check again because this three doesn't help me a lot. And now he bets 191. Now I'm I'm thinking if he had a already a set that's good on him, can he do that with twos? Probably. But I'm putting him more on the either higher pair since he min raised me. So he probably have nines, eights, tens, jack, queen. But queen and king, I think he would have re-raised me on the pre-flop. Anyway, I don't think I could fold on that turn yet i called now heads up to see a river which was a 10 of heart not nah, changed nothing for me decided to check and he decided to go all in i only have what 168 remaining so i cannot really fall in a pot of 724 it's like not that much and if he's like maybe bluffing maybe if he had a flop set good for him it's a cooler situation for me so i decided to call and the villain shows king 10 off suit so my pocket ace is good. Now I have pocket kings in the cutoff position. So uh, there's one limper. So I decided to put a bet of $20. The bottom calls, small blind calls, big blind calls. And the first limper decided to put a bet of $50. Now this is super strong. Normally people tend to do that with limp raise. It's either aces, ace king, uh, queens, kings. So he technically would have a premium. But since I have a king, I cannot go anywhere. So I just decided to put a little four bet of 125 to see what it's going to do. And he rips all in. And I have pocket king. So I just call. And it's a cooler situation of ace against pocket kings. So I need to find a king. So the flop was jack to six. No kings. Turn was another jack. And the river was another queen. So no kings here. And it's just a cooler kings versus aces. Day two. My next hand was ace eight of diamond in the straddle position. The low jack decided to limp. The cutoff position put a bet of $20. Big blind call. I decided to call as well. With three ways to see a flop, which was seven of club, jack of diamond, and a seven of diamonds. Here I decided to check since I'm not the aggressor. And the cutoff decided to put a bet of 45. Big blind decided to call as well. Here with my ace, eight of diamonds, I have a flush draw. I could raise but what would i fold if someone have a seven then i'm he won't fold uh someone could have jack seven come on someone could have jack something as well for sure but there there's seven in their range for sure so i don't think i can fold anyone on that board so i just decided to make the call the turn was a four of club here now the big blind check i decided to check as well because it doesn't help a lot in my hand and the cutoff decided to slow down and check. So if the cutoff slow downs, I don't think he have a seven here because he would still bet since we both call behind him. So he doesn't have a seven here. Does he have a jack? Maybe trying to like slow a bit is jack, but I don't think he has a seven. Anyway, still three ways to see a river, which was a six of diamond. So bingo, I hit my flush. And now the big blind decided to make a bet of fifty dollars so here i'm thinking can he have seven six could he have a boat technically it's a possibility but i think he this type of player would probably we probably know he if he had a seven in his hand he would pretty more aggressive but i don't think he have a seven and if i wanted to know i want to raise but i decided to raise not that big just like 120 so it's around like 2.4 his bet not a min raise because i hate min raise and 2.4 i think it's a good bet because if he had a boat he would re-raise me and if you have a baby flush you could call if you have a seven you could still call but all this in mind they both folds my next hand is queen four of diamonds in the cutoff position. There's two limpers. So since I'm in the cutoff position, I could put a raise here. But since I'm playing a not a standard hand and people tend to call me lightly, I decided to just limp and see a flop cheap bottom calls. And small blind has other idea and open at $4. So that's a big raise of no min raise. All three players decided to call the $4 bet. Since I'm trying to be a little bit funny, so I put a bet of $6. That's another min raise at the bottom decide to do the same thing and put a bet 
of eight dollars small blind could technically normally would put a bet of ten dollars but just decided okay it's enough and just decided to call the eight dollar bet and everyone decided to call the eight dollar bet so technically it goes from a two dollar bet to an eight dollar bet anyway so six players to see a flop which was six of clubs seven of diamond and a nine of diamond the big blind decided to put a bet of twenty five dollars both players decided to fold and then my decision here, since I have diamonds, I decided to make the standard call $25 and everyone else decided to fold. So heads up to see a turn, which was a five of diamond. Now big blind decided to go for a bet of $50. And that guy is a new guy. So what, what can he represent? He could represent an eight here or a straight. I think that mm, two pair or a set here would have probably checked because all the diamonds, all the straight is on the board. So I think that a two pair or a set or only a pair would have slowed down here. So I'm putting him more of an eight and on a straight. So since I have diamonds, I decided to just call here because do I want to scare an eight? and fold an A no I don't I don't want to and I want to know if he's gonna still bet on the river I just decided to call his bet of $50 heads up to see a river which was a nine of club here now it's not the greatest card I wanted to see because it paired the board but his logic of playing I don't think he had any sets or any pair and now he goes for a bet of $150 now why would he go for a bet of $150 so I don't really think his line makes sense because if you have an eight a straight now there could be a possibility of boats here full houses his straight could the flush could be there so i don't think an eight is good of a play here but this guy i first time playing against him and he doesn't show a lot of uh, of capability of playing great poker so i don't know what he's doing but i think he is probably in value here but why would i'm thinking why would a two pair or set still bet on the turn here he put me on the tank and i decided to make the call and he shows nine five offsuit so yeah technically that could make sense if he's playing nine five offsuit because we just he's in the big plan position and that stupid pre-flop didn't think it through that he he could have a boat here because I didn't really know how he played but I got caught up and he was in value town and I got caught my next end I got eight six of heart in the hijack position there's one limper so here I decided to put a bet of $16 cut off call bottom call big blind calls and the first limper call so five way to see a flop which was five of spade four of heart and a king of spades here everyone decided to check could I represent there's no reason here to bet because all the flush draw of spades could call all the kings will call and can I bet to only have my gutter there's no reason I wanted to see a free card on the turn and still five ways to see a turn which was seven of club yes I've hit the nuts technically with my eight six a straight now everyone decided to check here with my straight there is a lot of possibility on this board so I decided to put a bet of forty dollars it's around age forty percent of the pot now everyone falls except the big blind who has other idea and he raised me to ninety five dollars here what can he represent he could represent either pockets a set that he wanted to slow play he could do that with two pairs he could do that with a flush draw he could do that a lot of things and since i have the nuts and i don't want him to scare here so i just decided to make the call of 95 dollars heads up to see a river which was a nine of heart so i've touched all the pair of a board all the spades so i still have again the nuts and now what's even better that he still decided to put a bet of 225 dollars here technically i cannot fold this and i cannot call this i need to go all in but now i'm just waiting a little bit because i wanted to not go all in so fast i'm just taking my time a little bit and i just rip it off and jam all in and he thinks a little bit and he makes the call and he shows six three of diamond so he had the smaller straight and have the biggest straight so that was a cooler and i was just on the right side of it that sums up my two days of playing poker in total of 14 hours i've won thirteen hundred dollars so that's pretty good for only 14 hours in playing one two blinds uh, so what would happen in the next week says that i'm gonna play a, a tag team tournament so i'm not used to play tournaments so i'm gonna find out if i'm good at tournaments and stay tuned if you want to see more so see you on the next video bye